So we had a little nine year old girl that was, you know, spraying a solution that she learned about actually on TikTok that was environmentally safe to kill lantern flies because lantern, lantern flies is a issue uh, within their area. And you had this 71 year old former politician call the police on a nine year old girl. And I want y'all to listen to what this ignorant, ignorant man said, you know, to this 911 operator. Let's roll that. There's a little, little black woman walking and spraying stuff on the sidewalks and trees on Elizabeth and Florence. I don't know what the hell she's doing. It scares me, though. It was a call to police about suspicious activity on this quiet block in Caldwell on October 22nd, made by a neighbor who says he saw what he believed was a young woman spraying an unknown substance on trees. That little black woman, as he described, was the nine-year-old daughter of Monique Joseph, who was on the sidewalk killing lantern flies with a homemade solution, a practice she had been doing all summer. She wanted to feel like she was doing something, and it was the one thing that she could feel powerful doing, you know, and she's saving a tree. We love trees. I was steadying myself because I didn't want him to feel my anger, and then I get myself in trouble. You know, Bobby is not a woman. She is nine years old. All I could think is, what was his intentions? What did he expect to happen on the other side of that? Was he okay as her neighbor with her being approached by the police? Racism, intentional or not, is still racism. Joseph would later recount the incident at a Caldwell City Council meeting last week in a fiery speech made to town officials, where she received an apology from the mayor. And I'm so sorry that your daughter experienced that. The neighbor who called police, Gordon Lawshe, did not want to speak to us on camera, referring us to his attorney. Wow, you're scared of a nine-year-old little girl? You call 911 because of that? Like, really? I wouldn't even be paying attention if a child was spraying something on a tree. I mean, did she go spray it on your tree? Is that the only thing that you could really say something about at that point? But, you know, it's like, I y'all y'all could never let me get in any position of power where I'm in a city because that night, that 911 calling, Oh, I'm going to be the king of passing out uh, tickets for that. I'm like, wait a minute. You call an emergency line because a child is out here spraying something on the trees for lantern flies. Really? Oh no. I, I would say it needs to be a thousand dollar fine. Cause that's for emergencies. Hey, someone, you know, car accident. Oh, someone got shot. You know, all, you know, medical, you know, emergency happen or, or something in relation, right? Crime in progress, whatever. Fine. That's emergencies. But just cause, oh, they walking down the street. Uh, I don't know what they're doing. That's not an emergency. That's not what 911 is supposed to be for. They have non-emergency lines and then they have emergency lines. And people should be getting fined a thousand dollars each time they call that emergency line for something stupid like that. Call the whole police for a child. I mean, I'll be, I'll be so pissed off. I had, to, I had to be a police and go out there with that. I would go in on him. I said, you sat up here and told the operator you were scared. Like, sir, what were you scared of? What, what was she doing? Did she have some sort of chemicals that she was mixing? It was melting the trees. Like what, what was she doing? And even if she were doing that, did she do it at your house, sir? You know, it's like, it's ridiculous. A woman. <laughs> Oh Lord, these people, these people, I tell you, but you know, shout out to mom. Definitely. You know, she definitely got an apology from the mayor not to say that means anything. Um, you know, I always say look into what you can do, you know, civilly to sue, uh, you know, cause like I said, I wouldn't say it's the police is the issue is him. You can't be sitting up there just harassing people for no reason. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this. This 71 year old man gonna call 911 talking about he's scared of a child that's trying to take care of a pest that actually the city is encouraging people to try to help take care of the actual pest. They're encouraging it. But yet, you know, this guy here called 911 on a child.